Well, when you look at KL Rahul, you really have got to feel sorry for him. Because he was part of two franchises where he had a different role. When he came back to Punjab Kings for a second stint, he became the leading run getter there, but his strike rate was an issue. Last year, when LSG were dumped out of the playoff race, at that point in time, his uh, public uh, fallout that was there with Sanjeev Goenka, it was highlighted in the media and it became viral. KL Rahul now not been retained by Lucknow Super Giants, it leaves a very uncertain future for him. Wherever he goes, he may go at a very low base price because two things are going against him. Firstly, he is not in the T20A scheme of things. He has been dropped from the test match situation as well. IPL has been underwhelming but not that overwhelming also for KL Rahul. It is a frustrating enigma that is there at this point in time, the situation with KL Rahul. Now, after being snubbed by most of the franchises and being put into the mega auction, Sanjeev Goenka, when you are speaking with the host broadcasters, kind of, if you may want to imply, did he take an indirect dig at KL Rahul? Because the statement that you look at it, Goenka, when he was asked about uh, the retention strategy, he did not name anybody specifically. Let us be very clear in the video, he did not name anyone specifically. But social media and lot of other people are interpreting it as a dig at KL Rahul because he is saying, we had a simple mindset to go in with players who have a mindset to win who put the team before their personal goals and personal aspirations. Who put the team before their personal goals and personal aspirations. Now, is that a cryptic dig at KL Rahul? Because everybody was saying KL Rahul is just playing for runs. He doesn't care about the strike rate. Power hitting is gone. He's just wanting to ensure he gets runs and so that he makes a comeback into the Indian team. Now, how true is that? Agreed. KL Rahul, the power, the strike rate issue has been prolonged and it's been prevalent for quite some time now, which is very, very surprising. You can't argue on that. You can argue though for the volume of runs that he's made for LSG in these last three years and for Punjab Kings prior to that. But runs alone don't make it in the IPL. You have to have a better strike rate also to ensure that is there. KL Rahul, run scoring, great but strike rate not great at all. And that is where this 50-50 situation really infuriates a lot of people. If you have to look at it, KL Rahul is not somebody who will put personal goals and personal aspirations front. He is always a team player. KL Rahul has shown that he can take up the thankless job. He can bat anywhere he wants. He can bat where the management wants him to without even raising an issue. So, is this a cryptic dig? That's what social media thinks, that's what fans think. But honestly, Sanjeev Goenka did not mean that. He didn't target any particular individual at this stage. Now, what was the strategy? Because now they have picked most of the guys, they will have only one RTM left. So, Nicholas Puran was the top pick with 21 crores. So, in that he mentioned, Puran was a no-brainer for everyone. So, that's clear. And Ayush has done well for us at number 6 and number 7. He's an uncapped Indian. So, if you look at the retentions that LSG have had, it's quite clear. Mayank Yadav had to be bought. Then Ravi Bishnoi had to be bought. Nicholas Puran. Then you had Ayush Badoni. So, that is why this current situation is quite good for LSG. They have really stocked up upon their fast bowling. So, that is why Ayush Badoni... He was very good in the lower middle order. So, that's why this was a good purchase when you look at it. So, Lucknow Super Giants also have had a very stable auction without stable retention without much of a hula balu about it. But this statement that was made on KL Rahul, is it allegedly on KL Rahul? Maybe not. But did he really have to mention that we put, uh, that we have picked individuals who will put team first rather than personal ambitions and personal aspirations, was that really needed? This is one thing that LSG will have to grapple with and many people might not take KL Rahul's side by the way for this. So, it is a very unfortunate situation that you have got with KL Rahul, unfortunately. We hope that he gets a team, we hope that he can prove detractors wrong by having a great strike rate. Runs, I know it's a bit of a uh, catch-22, he is a great run scorer, but power hitter, that is the one thing which might go against KL Rahul in the past two to three years. 
Thank you so much folks for joining us for this video. Subscribe to Sports Today for all the latest news and analysis.